Podtacular episode 112, Halo 3 leaked footage for the week of May 7th, 2007. All right, gentlemen, let's get freaky! Well, hey, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Podtacular, the unofficial Halo Universe podcast. I'm Fumo Jive. And I'm JVP. I'm Swagger. And I am Rusty Ranchero. All right. So coming on, guys. Uh, My pleasure. Welcome, Thanks boy. for having me. Yeah. No, it's our pleasure. <laughs> Trust me, it's ours. Oh. Well, well hey, we got uh, Swagger from the Podtagator forums. Welcome, man. Uh, thanks. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, really quick, uh, Swagger one day approached me about uh, make some Podtagator pencils. So uh, huh. now that I put them on the spot. I think those pencils uh, might be becoming a reality sometime soon, eh? Long overdue. Yes, and with my <laughs> donations to Podtacular and my... What else did I tell Fumo I'd give him? <laughs> <laughs> Fumo, all all the backpacking trip to Ireland. That's going to happen at uh, episode oh, yeah. 200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Plasma he, pencils, man. No We're Fumo has to walk. Uh, walk to Ireland. <laughs> Yeah, plasma pencils. <laughs> Long walk to Ireland, man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Green lead? <laughs> I want one of those. Yeah, too bad you can't write any on anything, because everything melts. <laughs> <laughs> this goes right through the paper, the desk, everything else. Your leg. Ah, paper. My paper's on fire again. And then you sue me for, for giving you pencils that destroy everything. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, yeah, man. man. So, uh, Rusty Ranchero um, from Xbox, uh, excuse me, XBLRadio.com. Welcome aboard, and uh, why don't you give us a brief rundown of uh, things you're doing over there at XBLRadio.com. Yes, indeed. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, finally. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and I got to tell you guys something. I don't know if... Um, your li- some of your listeners may or may not be aware of this. Even you guys may or may not be aware, but XBL Radio almost wouldn't exist without you guys, Podtacular, because um, I think it was your show, one of these shows, if not the show, that inspired uh, Mr. Carpal Tunnel, my good friend and host over there. Mm-hmm. And, and former Radio. Sub- another former submitter. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Who happens to have the best call-in that I've ever heard. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll talk about that one later. Right on. Fumo probably doesn't even remember this one. Can't say I knew, man. All right. Did it have so something good. to do with mashed potatoes? No, it was a tater tart that he threw at his wife's head. <laughs> 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 he said he had a Halo 2 flashback at a restaurant or something, and he threw a tater tart at the back of his wife's head and stuck her. Like a, pla- damn grunt. <laughs> <laughs> like a plasma grenade. <laughs> Single Bro, kill. I can understand how <laughs> How he can there's three more heart. where those came from. <laughs> <laughs> and they have ketchup, too. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Oh, My tray's not so, empty yet, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah, um, so, uh, as you were saying, Rusty? Yeah, I, I can understand how he can mistake his wife for, for an... Adl- oh, Aww. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> He's oh, in the pay yeah, box right nice now, role. man. He's like, <laughs> doghouse. Oh, yeah, I'm getting kicked off the show now. Ah. I see how it is. Rip on the new guy. Rip on the new guy. Right? <laughs> Remember, these uh, views are only uh, Rusty Ranchero's views. <laughs> and they do not reflect particular whatsoever. <laughs> so, uh, Rusty, what, what was your address again? <laughs> what? Uh, so, you, you host... Um, the Xbox Live Arcade uh, Roundtable. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong about the name, but uh, uh, Live on Live. Live on Live. Yes, Gamers Roundtable. We call it. Yes, indeed. Um, something we've done since the beginning of our podcast. We always let regular gamers onto our show uh, to talk about the topics of the day, whatever's on their mind, whatever uh, is buzzing. Yeah. Which uh, and I got to give you guys props too, because I think. We two are probably the only podcasts that uh, that really reach out to the community and let them be on our shows consistently, yeah. show after show, which yeah. is great. You guys are doing a great job. 
Oh, thanks a lot. And then, you know, that's how you build the community. You know, you get them involved in the show and it's, you know, somewhat of a reward for them, you know, for, for hanging, hanging with us, you know, through our little battles. Absolutely. You definitely got to get the community involved. For real, man. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of quite a few shows and, and you know, it, it's kind of cool how, you know, you're able to record an Xbox live chat. I mean, I know it's not a chat room because there's only one per chat room. So what what game do you use? Uh, Gears of War. That seems to be the game that everybody has on okay. the 360, as well as Halo 2. Um, and we would be using Halo 2 to this day if it had good voice quality. There's something yeah. wrong with the 360 and the Halo 2 voice quality. Absolutely, uh, and I agree with that one. Hmm. But um, no, so everybody's got Gears of War. We use that. Uh, yeah, I gotta give you guys props, man. It comes out well, even though it's over Xbox Live. The audio you can still understand everybody, and I mean, you were explaining to me how you do it, but um, I still don't understand, even though you explained it to me. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, great job, man, great job with that. Um, you know, and also. You know, the work Steve 519 has been doing, Carpal Tunnel, you know, the rest of the, uh, you guys also have another segment called uh, Arcade Minute or something like that? Uh, the Marketplace Minute. Marketplace Minute. Yeah, okay. hosted by uh, Guijay. You can catch that on the Point Zero podcasts. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Guijay's real cool. Nice. Awesome, awesome. All right, well. Well, well welcome, guys, to the show. <laughs> Appreciate you being on here. Um, this is going to be the Halo 3 leaked footage show, and we're going to be talking about even more leaked footage. Now, last week we had a single video that was about 8 minutes long that was on Last Resort, which was a remake mm -hmm. of Zanzibar. This week we have, what is it, 5, 6 actually leaked videos that were mm -hmm. on YouTube, and they haven't been taken down. We're also on Kotaku and Joystick, and we didn't see any like update. We had to remove this or anything like that on both of those, so as usual... Based on that, we're assuming that Bungie does not have a significant problem with these. They're probably, I mean, banning the gamer tags that submitted them. But, yeah. you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure. And uh, oh, fortunately man. for the guy with the uh, with the crazy accent and, <laughs> and all that stuff <laughs> that we'll talk about it's soon. It's gay, yo. <laughs> oh, it's just gay. Everything's gay. But, yeah, we're... Uh, you know, we're talking about those five, six videos that have recently come out, and dude, it's it's crazy amount of stuff here. It's it you know ultimately amounts to probably as much of a, of a revelation as the original video that we talked about last week. But it's some mm -hmm. it's some really good stuff. It's really exciting, and it definitely gets us going for Halo Three. So hey, let's get going. Um, who wants to start yes. with uh with the first one here? With Rico. Rico. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Rico says, "Hey guys." Did you see the new item in one of the videos where he dropped it and his motion tracker had like 20 red dots on it going everywhere? I think that that would be sweet to toss it to a base and grab the flag and the turret you can pick up. That looks so cool and it oh, yeah. goes into third person view when you hold it like you're in the turret on the hog. Yeah, when I saw that th third person view, I was like, nice. That's like Gears of War right there. Yeah. And you can actually see your Spartan. So that was a, li a, a nice little touch. But one thing I noticed about the overall camera view, I don't know if it's the way he was holding the, you know, his vision cam, but then it seemed to me like the, the, the actual weapons were closer now to you, like the, 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 the angle in which you're playing in, yeah, I, I it's kind of it felt weird. Like, I, I mean, you could were, see. I thought they were actually graphic. farther away. And if you're talking about like the SMG and the plasma rifle, for instance, mm -hmm. they look they look farther away because you can see more of the rear of the weapon, like especially yeah. the SMG and the plasma rifle. Yeah, but, yeah, you could be right because I think depending on the weapon, I mean, it, I mean, eh, then again, it was done through the Xbox Vision Cam, so maybe it's. Yeah. Not the best angle, but yeah, that that third person view. Um, hey, can you? That was pretty cool. Can you clarify, uh, JVB, the uh, third person view, like what it's referring to and how that all works? Okay, he picked up a turret. He picked up the gun off a turret, and it went automatically to a third person view. 
a la Gears of War, where you see the gun, he's and and the the, the you know the Spartan is holding the turret, kind of like a Tommy gun type thing, and it's in a third person view, so you can see the Spartan and you can see the gun and and the reticle. Um, I mean, pretty much carbon copy of Gears of War, except maybe a little further than what Gears of War is usually. Yeah. So, um, so, so I have to question. I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed. To me, didn't he run a little slower while holding that? I couldn't yeah, I tell. I was, was wondering. Just... Yeah, I, I, th I think you did. It. I mean, it seemed like that at first. I mean, it could have been wrong. Probably One just... problem that I might have with that third person view, though. Uh, sorry to cut you off, but um, is that going to limit your? your field of, of sight. I mean, because uh, cause I'm playing on a small little 19-inch monitor, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, so I have to get close to that thing just to see what's going on. <laughs> and now the camera's even going to be further back because I love using the turrets. And um, so is that going to make it even harder to aim and see what's all the way at the other end of the map? Well, if you remember, you know, using the turret in Halo 2 is the same thing. It goes into a third-person view. So it's going to be pretty much the same thing, except now you can actually run around in that view. So, yeah, I can see where you're worried about visibility and, and range of view. Um, maybe that's a way for them to balance the weapon out, you know, where you can't yeah. just see everything in front of you from certain angles where, you know. I mean, who knows? I mean, like I said, the camera itself, the camera angle of the video itself was kind of wacky. Well, I mean... Like you were saying earlier, with the weapons looking like they were closer to you, mm -hmm. I I definitely agree because it looked like it was really like like just clustered, like everything was. Yeah. And I mean, it it very well could be the the camera angle. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, whoa, you know, I'm like, what's what's up with this picture? The gun looks huge. Yeah. And I mean, like, like like height wise. Yeah, and Fumo mm -hmm. say, you know, yeah, you can see the back of the SMG. Which makes a lot of sense because before you couldn't. Yeah. So and 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 was it me? Well, he was dual wielding, so I couldn't actually see if he was holding, if, if they still hold the SMG with both hands, which I would have liked to have seen. Yeah, I'm not sure so, on that one. Um, so well, yeah, but he talked about the let's see the uh, the, the motion the, the, tracker, uh, mm -hmm. that thing. Let's talk about that. The, uh, there was the, there was one particular video that all it did was show off this particular power up. It was a, uh, deployable that was like a red ball that, um, mm -hmm. and by the way, if you guys want to see these videos that we're talking about, you can check them out on podtacular.com. Um, but there was a red ball that he deployed that basically like scrambled all the radar to where it had a bunch mm -hmm. of red dots and your radar like flying all over the place. Um, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Definitely. Like you know, that's actually a good example that he put, right? Is like throwing it into a base. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like Absolutely. Showing guys coming no from all over. Yes. Oh. And and you know. That'd be a great distraction to snatch the flag or arm the bomb. Exactly. And like I said in the last show, it seems like they're going for more of a strategic uh battles now with all these power ups and, and and different weapons mm -hmm. so that's something definitely you know you kind of gotta I'm sure you're gonna have to fight for it in the map and then you gotta hold on to it and use it at the right time right. so that's gonna be yeah. pretty sweet all and, right so uh, let's go uh, to uh, oh, real oh, quick uh, before we go to the next one um, just want to mention one thing on the third person view on the turret um, that one was on there was a particular video where he he basically just demoed one thing he he threw down a um, a deployable lift, which we've talked about before, and he jumped up on. Um, oh, geez, what's the name of the map? Um, uh, the new one was it in Ep the Epithea. No, it's the new one in in the desert where it's. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it's like a stronghold, and anyway, it's it's the. <laughs> you guys are probably yelling at me right now. It's this one. It's <laughs> it's the new one in the desert that we that we've already seen. Um, where he he jumps up to the second level, and there's actually a, de a already deployed turret on a tripod, and he grabs it off of the tripod, and it switches to the third person view, and he's walking around holding it Jesse Ventura style, ready to uh, you know mow anybody down. Yeah, I got time to bleed. <laughs> oh, man, 
Yeah, so we'll go to Lieutenant Red Team. LT Red Team. He goes, holy crap, the pistol doesn't have the zoom, only, and it's only six shots. The plasma rifle and SMG have been severely enhanced by making more by making them more powerful and faster. The Spartan laser has uh, double X zoom uh, scope, like the rockets or fuel rod gun, which will make some uh, which will make for some cool laser kills. It's <laughs> already <laughs> rolling dice back there. <laughs> Oh, uh, he goes. Also, oh, wait, you guys could do that. Snake yeah. eyes, all right. Oh. <laughs> I dropped the quarter. Come on. Oh. Yeah, he goes. Like a pencil. I know. Ah, plasma <laughs> pencil. He goes. Also, the brute shot is back, but not used. Um, and in one of the death screens, you can see a guy with a chain gun turret. I look. Uh, it looked like you might have to put it down before you can start shooting, but you'll never know. Okay. Overall, it looks it, it's looking better and better. All right. So All right. A couple things here. Yeah. So so um, as we said earlier, he kept saying certain things were gay, as in G H E Y, and he said the pistol, while it looks similar to Halo One, to the Halo One pistol, it's uh, very weak, and he pretty much labeled it useless. Mm-hmm. Well. And fat like P H A T. Another and, thing is uh, that it, it had the uh, they had the scope attachment on it like Halo One, but when you zo- when you zoomed in, it, it was just like Halo Two to where you can't fire when you're zoomed in, which is mm-hmm. really weird. I mean, I didn't really get that. No, I mean it's a beta. Maybe they'll change it, yeah. but uh, he was using it as a dual wieldable weapon. So he said it was accurate for headshots. So maybe it's kind of like the new combo, the new new combo, you know, where you lower the shield down and with the pistol you get an accurate headshot. And speaking of which, he said the laser, uh, the, the plasma rifle itself was too powerful. So, yeah, it's I mean, like exactly how powerful he, he, I mean, he didn't really show anything with it. Yeah. Which was a bit disappointing, but, uh, then again, I mean, t- tomorrow he'll be banned from Xbox Live, but that's for another show. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rusty, speaking of speaking of this guy that's going to be banned, Rusty, tell me, dude, how annoying was this guy in the video? How annoying was his voice? <laughs> uh, well, gentlemen, I have to confess something. <laughs> I haven't seen them. Oh! <laughs> I, I chose not to see them, just like I'm choosing not to participate in the in the beta. Halo 3 beta. Oh, really? I uh, I don't want to ruin the experience and the surprise when this game comes out. I just want to pop it in and just and take just it all in at that it. moment. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, you know, that's well, that's so, very. Uh, oh, but isn't this isn't this episode like about those videos? So <laughs> yeah. are we talking about? Are we ruining your experience right now? I mean, uh, I yeah. Mean, yeah. Well, I guess there's one thing to hear about and another thing to see it. Exactly. Yes. So. Um, yeah, but after okay. the show, he's gonna be like, "Oh man, I have to go look at it." <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll take a little peek. Just a little one. It won't hurt anybody. Just sit there and no! over and over again for an hour. <laughs> so, so six. So, 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 so six swagger. Shot. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say since Swagger saw the video. I mean, uh, why don't you give us your take on, on the guy's uh, guy in the video accent? <laughs> um. Well, pretty much the same as yours. It was annoying and gay, and he shouldn't have been talking. <laughs> <laughs> he he kind of had this mix between like a wannabe gangster kind of guy and a mm-hmm. um, and a like very country guy from like the deep woods in Alabama, which was yeah. a really bizarre mix. It's kind of like Vietnamese and French; it just doesn't go together. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, so, well, the pistol's only six shots. Um, and also, we already discussed plasma rifle being a little too powerful. The SMG actually looked like it was uh, quite effective now. Yeah. According to him, and yeah. I, yeah. And I like the, the the way it looks, too. I mean, it, it looks very nice. I mean, I would hate to start doing Borat again, but yeah, it looked pretty, pretty, pretty nice, even with a crappy video like that. 
Is that something you were doing last episode? <laughs> oh, all of us were. <laughs> God damn, my motorcycle great movie. And, yeah, but uh, it did. It, yeah, he was saying it was more powerful though. He's like, it, it, like along with the plasma rifle and everything. But what's cool about the 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 um, SMG in this uh, in this video is that it's it's basically extended out more. It seems like you can see the butt of it more to where when he's dual wielding it. To where mm -hmm. you know it, it's just a different view of it entirely. And he was saying it's basically like an assault rifle with, with more, uh, more shots on it. To like to where you can shoot it faster and it's a bigger clip. So sounds yeah, like it's pretty yeah. good. Mm -hmm. He called it a faster battle rifle. Mm. I don't know if he picked that one up. He said it was faster than the battle rifle, but it, it felt, I guess, as far as power is concerned. I think he said. It's a, f a faster version of the assault rifle with more bullets. Okay. Well, rifle, battle rifle, <laughs> well, assault sorry. rifle. It's a rifle. I had to be. <laughs> I had to be. Uh, you know, <laughs> drawn straws or whatever. Same dude. They both shoot close enough. bullets. Close enough. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, I guess somebody take a uh, scrawny pale man. I'll do that. This sounds like fun. OMG! Those were awesome. I love how the turret makes the view third person. I also like the new pistol. And then, uh, I'm sorry, gentlemen, I don't speak Halo language. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he goes on to say there was a load of excitement that flooded into him. The pistol seems to suck, but it looks so cool. I love all the customization that is available. And uh, shout out to Spawn. Spawn is Tet Awesome. Nah. <laughs> yeah, he was talking about Spawn today. Yeah. <laughs> well, the tank says, just watch the videos. Putting the horrible camera skills aside, they were awesome. Hmm. One disappointing thing is the apparent weakness of the pistol. It looked like it did when Halo 2 was first released. Past that, we past that weapons look fine. The sniper rifle bullet looked to move really fast, though. I agree. Um, real quick, let me pause on that one. Um, the sniper rifle bullet. You don't have to lead it anymore. At least at the at the distance he was from, it, it just mm -hmm. like it was just right there instantly, which is really yeah. cool because you don't have to deal with like lag and issues like that affecting like how your sniper rifle bullet, you know, fires at a distance. Yeah, yeah, no, that was that was pretty cool. I mean, I it, that was awesome. I like the old, I mean, you know, the original Halo uh, sniper rifle. Yeah, very much so. I mean, it was kind of a cool combo that you know they did with the uh, with the view on the on the um, zooming area on like the, mm -hmm. the view area at the top of the rifle to where it's kind of a night vision thing. That's that's definitely yeah, I like a that nice too. throwback. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys happen to notice like if it's if it's uh, two times, five times, ten times, or how the view is no, on I the sniper rifle? I didn't either. No, I, I didn't mean. notice. Yeah. I'm sure. Except it looks. I don't know if you guys have already talked about this in the past, but I'm sure you have. Uh, but it looked like it was the same sniper rifle from Halo One. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a combination, you know, because Halo One you had kind of the heartbeat going on, which is kind of a weird. I don't hmm. know well, why that was. What I think there. I saw, what I think I saw in the newer videos was uh, the bring back of night vision. Right. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. It looks like a, a green, uh, you know, display version, CRT kind of display version of of what's in front of you right then. So it's it's all green monochrome on the uh, on the view. So anyway, uh, moving on. Um, let's see here. He also says, uh, OK, customization looks great. It'll be interesting to see how many people pick the most annoying colors for the unit mm -hmm. online. Think about it, a bright pink and lime green Master Chief running around. Reminds me of that gamerine that you all have in the store. No. <laughs> Let's go check that out of the Pontector <laughs> store, man. <laughs> gonna buy one too. Somebody's gonna buy it. Well, that's all Somebody for now. Somebody's gotta buy it and wear it at the supermarket. Yeah, and take a picture. No, don't take a picture, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all for now. And remember, in Halo 3, you won't be a super soldier, you'll be a traveling salesman delivering death in bulk. Keep on fragging cute furry animals and cookie crisp. Yeah, so the uh, customization, right? Um, let's see, uh, JVV, why don't you tell us about uh, about how that worked? Well, he went to uh, he, he showed a little brief uh, rundown on the customization. He showed like some color palettes, and it looks like there's a lot more than what we're used to seeing in Halo Two. Um, 
you can preview it. Uh, the only, I mean, like his camera work was um, far from amateur. I mean, far you know, amateur. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the way he was showing it, I, I couldn't tell if if the picture that that was on display was only from the top up. Well, from the from the waist up, or that's just the way the the camera angle was. But I mean, it, it did show like, you know, more vibrant colors on the character, and I mean, I, I couldn't really tell the difference. It looked like certain parts of the suit were colored differently. Like I know in Halo Two, you got just two colors. I don't know if you know exactly how many uh, parts of your uniform you can actually color in i mean that yeah. that part you didn't show yeah i couldn't tell you know on the on the original you know on halo 2 there's certain parts that you can color different right on mm -hmm. this one it looked like there was a different there's like kind of a different combination that you can color mm -hmm. differently to where you can color for instance your helmet and then part of your arms uh you know one color and then the other part of your arms and then you know different parts of your torso another color in this case he had like orange and green uh, and it, yeah. it, of course, it looked really stupid because orange and green don't go together very well. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, this Xbox is this guy's. Color. <laughs> yeah, this is this guy's like, you know, choice of of color. So yeah, but it was like it was definitely either either it's more customization on what you can color what, or else it's a different combo of like where mm -hmm. the colors actually go on the armor, which is interesting. Yeah, I mean, hopefully that's the case because there's the in Halo Two there was only but so many different schemes you can do. I mean, if they allow a little more um, play with the color schemes mm -hmm. and where exactly you can place color on, kind of like a bit like Forza, you know, the way they had their customization. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you know, people can feel like they can individualize their character you know, more to their liking, not have three people with blue and white, you know. Yeah. So we'll see. An we'll another see. cool thing would be um if you could share your your color scheme and profile with your friends. Like if you all join the clan and you all wanna mm -hmm. uh share oh, the yeah. same colors. That'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. Like just send them the little data. Like have Instead of opening up a private chat and say, "Okay, man, pick this color." Yeah, yeah. For your left foot, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the top Achilles area is brown. <laughs> All right, the third so brown next? to the left. Coyote one eight seven says, "Wow, what can I say? Those vids were amazing. Halo three right now looks to be one of the best experiences ever in video games. The new map that was shown." Um, Epitaph. I don't know. That's how you. I mean, am I pronouncing it correctly? Yeah, yeah. I have no clue. Okay. <clears throat> he goes. Looks like a prisoner. I mean, look. Looks like it is prisoner. Okay, the Halo One map, mixed with damnation. Yeah. Um, it looks very nice. Ah, why can't I? S Thank you, Boran. Every time I just say very nice, <laughs> I gotta say it in his tone. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. It looks very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of disappointed oh, in the new pistol because I figured with with how slow it fires and how low the ammunition is on it, it'd be more powerful. Overall, I really love it. There's just so much on there to think about. I think the power drainer was dropped on Valhalla. It looks like a blue version of the bubble shield when deployed. Yeah, that was, uh, we remember last episode we were wondering what exactly the power drain was going to be, and we pretty much nailed it on the head when we said it, it was going to de deploy in a certain distance, certain area, and kind of like drain anything that that was near its path or, or crossed it. I mean, is that what you gathered also? Well, uh, it looked like it didn't specifically show, well, First of all, no, they deployed it in two different areas. They deployed it in um, Epitaph, and they also mm -hmm. deployed it in Valhalla. However, in neither one, nobody walked into it. So you couldn't tell if it, it – I mean, I'm assuming it seems very – it seems obvious that what it's going to do is, like, basically destroy your shields mm -hmm. so that, you know, someone can get one headshot off on you and you're dead. 
but you know you can't tell for sure so it's most likely that but it's we'll, we'll have to wait and see for sure but it was definitely deployed in Valhalla and it was definitely in in kind of a yeah, half dome a kind of formation mm -hmm. so um you know it, it's it's only a certain area that it affects so we'll see yeah it, it would have been great to see like a vehicle pass through it to see if that you know drained any of the power from that oh that's true yeah um <clears throat> he goes to um i think the guy um, giving the commentary was hilarious, and I guess Bungie <laughs> did, did fix the needler. Um, I think at some point the guy says, "The guy has a needler. I'm dead." Yeah. So <laughs> something to that effect. Anyway, I'm sure you guys will say a lot more than I will. Don't say that. You must think higher. <laughs> <laughs> Elevate think your brain. About yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you are you, and no one can take that away from you. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, that's good, man. Um, Fifty bucks right there. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. This year's Christmas <laughs> comes in twelve days. Then again, in five months. Then again, a month after that. That's a lot of Christmas. Hooray! <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? Dude? <laughs> twelve days, five months. Then a month after that. <laughs> Does that mean that we're gonna have a lot of Hanukkahs too? Uh... <laughs> That's nice. a lot of eggnog. So, uh, <laughs> g gentlemen, since I've been in the dark about Halo 3, what, what does he mean? They fixed the needler. And it, it just a little background about myself. I love the needler. I love to do wield it. Mm, that is it means it's not broken anymore. Come on. All day, every day when I play that game, I'm do wield the needlers. Do you like long that walks on the beach with the needlers? It, so, <laughs> this, sounds, this sounds exciting to me when he says they fixed it. Well, what did I miss? Well, I mean, if you read all the novels, okay, whenever they mention the Needlers, I mean, they did a huge amount of damage, you know. And in the game, in Halo 2, it was like pretty much a joke if it was, you know, wielded, if you wield one. When That's you do true. wield one, I mean, yeah, you, you can kill somebody. And, and even if you have one on its own, I mean, there is a function for it. I mean, it kind of it kind of uh, distracts the sniper a bit. So, I guess now they they realize that yeah, the needler should be. I mean, for God's sakes, is piercing through your shields. It should have some kind of you know deadly effect, whether you have one or two. So I'm yeah, I'm I'm with you, man. I'm I'm hoping they. Uh, I mean, from the from the sound of it, it looks like they did upgrade its power and. You know, it's about time. Yeah. Yeah. In the video, the guy says this. He says, um, you know, he says, oh, I got the needler on me. I'm, I'm dead. But then you can't tell if he's being sarcastic or not. So it's it's hard to tell, you know, how that's <laughs> going to turn out. An accent. <clears throat> but but in the in the previous uh, videos that we've seen, the needler seems to be a one-handed weapon. And that seems to be what they've, you know, clearly said about it to where it's not a dual wielder but anymore it's a, it's like a rifle to where it's mm -hmm. more powerful so you know yeah. we'll see how that works out we haven't seen anybody actually shoot it yet and and you know hit anybody or anything we've seen like random shots of needlers that haven't really killed anybody on videos but so far none that you know actually the needler in action so hopefully mm -hmm. more of that in the future i mean you know just less than two weeks now until the Halo 3 beta, so we'll see that soon. What? What? Can't wait. Yeah. What? Yeah. Sounds exciting. Okay. Who's right, on the so Brent Gamer? So... Yeah. Oh, God. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! All right, somebody take yeah. Brent Gamer. Uh, yeah. You want me one. to take it? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Rusty, uh, thanks to the mysterious... Bip chisel. <laughs> For shizzle. Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah, bip, bip, bip chisel's bip, my bip, homie, bip, man. Bip hizzle. <laughs> <laughs> we have now seen things that have previously been securely guarded by Bungie. Because of Bip's heroic deed, Halo fans are now <laughs> even more excited about the Halo 3 beta. Potacular's expert research team has compiled the following list of new Halo 3 findings from the leaked videos. But number one, the turret now has a new feature in which it sprouts legs and starts running around wildly. <laughs> 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 right. 
a new <laughs> team-based game type will be centered around this, where a team has to catch the turret, softly caresses its ammo drum until no. it <laughs> and run it back to their base. <laughs> Nice. Oh, man. Calm Leave down, Terry. Calm down. Oh, was he, uh, <clears throat> I guess when he was coming up with this, he was sitting on the toilet knitting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said knitting. That's, that's where all good <laughs> ideas would come from, man. <laughs> knitting and toilets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and singing. <laughs> all right. Uh, so. Number two. The pistol now fires at the same rate as the Spartan laser. At least the Spartan laser has a cool charging up animation. <laughs> uh, number three, the power drainer will cause anyone within its blast range to do the electric slide. Oh! Down <laughs> <in> exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, the electric. I'm thinking of the hustle, man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the electric hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Do the electric hustle. Do the hustle. <laughs> yeah, that makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you only see that in weddings nowadays, man. I know. <laughs> you see the old ladies. Yay, the hustle. Oh, get me on the dance floor. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> would you carry my walker for me? <laughs> Dancing with my walker. Or she could, uh, she could use a portable gravity so lift. Ah, oh, portable gravity lift, yeah. <laughs> Just old people shooting through the air. <laughs> like I the, shall bloom. <laughs> it's the man, it, it's the man <laughs> cannon for old ladies. Ah, oh, the hag old cannon. Hag cannon. <laughs> <Hag> cannon, gosh. <laughs> Grandma's going to be mad at you, man. Oh, <laughs> Have you guys seen Hot Fuzz? Anybody? Oh no, no yeah. not yet. Oh, I can't wait. Oh. Oh, no. No. Don't ruin it for wait. me, man. Oh god, I, I got a Netflix. Wait. I got a Netflix. <laughs> Dude, right. oh, it's so yeah. funny because he walks into a hotel and this lady's doing a crossword, right? And she's like, she says something to him that's like, it sounds like it's offensive, but then, uh, oh, fascist. She says fascist, and he's like, uh, excuse me, and she's just like. And then she describes it, and she writes it down in the crossword puzzle. And he's like, "Oh, oh!" And then she's she's like, "Okay, your your room is number ninety one. Here are your keys." And he's like, "Hag!" And she's like, "Oh, uh, what?" And he's like, "Oh, old lady, which is mean three across." And she's like, "Oh, thank you." <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. I can't wait That's to see clear. that. It's yeah, man. All right, All right. next so one. Portal number four. Okay, number four. Portable gravity lifts will make wishing windows on tall buildings a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> will make washing windows <laughs> on tall buildings a lot easier. Too bad that the windows will just get dirty again when some guy snipes you in the Aww. stomach. <laughs> and the chocolate stomach off inside of your bowels sprays Oh my gosh! <laughs> chocolate pudding. At least she keeps it good for the children. I know, right? Yeah, Depends on what you're eating, blabs. I guess. Yeah. And they're going to go up to the mom and be like, Mommy, are, you, are, are we filled with chocolate pudding? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my pudding to be spread all over the windows. <laughs> right, go ahead. Uh, number five. <laughs> if Bip is any... Bip what? Dizzle. Bip Chisel. <laughs> so, so that's the guy's gamer tag. Is I that guess. Chisel. Who knows, the guy, man? The guy's a shot of idiots. Okay. <laughs> Bib chisel. <laughs> Bib is any indication tons of idiots playing Halo 3 online confirmed. Aw. Copy that. <laughs> Tell you what, man. <laughs> Over and out. Dude. <laughs> Over Shaka and Khan, out. Shaka Khan. Let me watch you, <laughs> Shaka Khan. <laughs> shaka, 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 shaka. I feel for you. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, and uh, and to wrap up his thoughts here, as I watch these videos end, I could almost hear the sound of taps being played as the thought of Bip being blasted off <laughs> of the Halo Three beta roll through my mind. <laughs> Let us have a moment of silence for Bip, master of the Xbox Live Vision camera. <laughs> 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 
that wasn't a very good moment of silence, JVB. Yeah, man. <laughs> if he's the master of it, he uh, oh, it's not very master. good because master. man, that thing was going everywhere. <laughs> master of the Xbox. <laughs> Bip, you gotta give him some credit. I mean, I he's know. Stuck in there. Yeah. He, he said, said, "Steal it." He goes, "I'm doing you guys a favor by recording it." Congratulations! Yeah. You Six. broke NDA. See, if, if I was him, instead of, like, trying to hold the vision camera while, like, playing at the same time, man, I would just tape that thing to my forehead. Oh. <laughs> I know. So, like, yeah, whatever right. I'm looking at, it's oh, like... Oh, crazy glue it or something. Yeah, that's when my wife's going to get the crowbar. <laughs> crazy nah. You're ripping my skin. Hey. You go to work, you're like, uh, sorry, I got this growth on my head, I can't... Uh, nah. I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> Babe, help. I got chocolate pudding coming out of my nose. <laughs> it's all over my face. Call a plumber. <laughs> Liquid plumber. Get the toilet paper. All, all right. right, so who's on Killazilla here? I believe it's Swagger. Swagger. Shout out for finding the links, maybe? Yeah, so hey, Killazilla actually found... The it was the first one to post the links to the videos on podtacular.com. Thanks, Skillazilla. We appreciate that. And yeah. hey, man, Good you made the show you. be what what it is right now. Thank you. Exactly. Yes. Good, Good job. Man. Good job. Okay. Um, Killazilla says, "Hey guys, what's up? I figured uh, I figured I would humor you with my speculations. Speculator, oh. brother, speculate. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> epitaph." Hepatia. <laughs> okay, so let, let me explain this real quick. Hepatitis. <laughs> Hepatitis B. The guy that, uh, <laughs> uh, good old Bip, our buddy, uh, that posted these videos, was uh, he had a slight misspelling. Can't even spell epitaph. So he he wrote epatia uh, on the on both of the videos that he posted, but then he pronounced it epitaph. So yeah, he can't spell. Okay, so uh, okay, so epitaph. To me, it looks like a small map with multiple layers. There are SMGs, plasma rifles, which are beautiful, by the way. A sword, pistols, MSR, people with BRs and ARs. And the guy started with a sniper. This seems to have a medium size. This seems to have medium sized rooms, which can be reached by taking narrow ramps on the outside of the structure. Seems like a good, good free-for-all map. Yeah. The, energy, the energy drainer, I believe it is an EMP device of sorts. It will drain shields, scramble radar, stall vehicles, and maybe even be the counter to the bubble shield. Hmm, that's a good point. I didn't think hmm. about that Yes, one. it is. It could be. I love the new pistol. It combines both of what I loved about the two pistols, the badass, futuristic look of the first, while still keeping it what a pistol... Huh? It's while to. still keeping it what a pistol is supposed to be. A low-powered side, low powered sidearm. Damn straight. What else? Um, oh, yes. The conf confirmation of the grab lift. That is a amazing piece of machinery. Think about it. Just when you think you have a Truck hold covered. This dude jumps over the wall from behind and twack, respawning in <laughs> five, four, three. Twack! <laughs> Got twacked in the head. You've been Listen. twacked. Watch out, I'm going to twack you. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, I've been twacked. <laughs> you were twacked by. <laughs> I'm going to twack your chocolate pudding all over the place. Oh. <laughs> I twack noobs for lunch. <laughs> the twackinator. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. <laughs> twack. <laughs> the portable turret is not worth mentioning. I mean, it's not like it will totally change the way we play Assault, CTF, or Cough, or even Halo in general. How could it? I mean, come on. Being able to move a superpowered turret wherever you want. Who would want to do that? Oh my god, turret. LOL. Mm -hmm. In closing, this was a great day for Halo fans. Too bad the cameraman was stupid enough to show his GT. 
He's gonna get fined. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get fined so so much. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Night Shadow Z five. And next time you try to go out in a blaze, okay, blaze of glory, at least make it so we can see what it is you're trying to show us. Peace out, mothers. Exactly, man. Blaze. Yeah, Let's go no, in a blaze of glory, blaze a fizzle of, your... of glory, man. No. Ah, or blaze <laughs> of glory. Or bip chisel of glory. <laughs> <laughs> bip chisel. <laughs> <laughs> well, any of you guys played Unreal 2? <clears throat> Unreal Championship 2. Is it, is it no. on the 360? No, Unreal 2 came no. out for on PC and then it came out for the Xbox. I never played it. Well, in that game, depending on which class you played, there were deployable tor uh, turrets. Hmm. And for him to say that they really have no uh, meaningful use uh, on on a game any game type i mean that's a bit of an understatement because when we used to play it i mean it was probably three or four of us who played it in the entire world <laughs> but <laughs> it was actually something that came in handy and if if you know you can deploy turrets anywhere you want that's pretty damn uh sweet i mean they even have it you know the the laptop gun in perfect dark which also has, you know, great use. So don't underestimate the 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 need to have that uh deployable turret. Yeah, just like a tower of power, man. It controls the whole game. Exactly. So you uh place a turret where nobody can really get to it. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do All a few right. more and let's wrap it up here. Alrighty, we'll go with uh Somebody new here. Madam Four. Um sends in something and it goes a little something like this. I think that Bungie is directing Halo 3 down to a path of redefining the first person shooter. Just as the first Halo defined the regeneration health as as mainstream in games, I think you will see interactive elements such as portable grab lifts, turret, and bubble shields. No longer will games have just a run-and-gun gameplay, uh, but there will be a strategy and interactive interactive secondary features. Live, wait, wait, live long and play Halo forever. I like that one. You know, I, I've got to agree with them. Um, it is definitely redefining first-person mm -hmm. shooters. And uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... Yeah, there's a lot of the same weapons, but I mean, they've been changing everything. But when you actually compare the gameplay to Halo 2's gameplay, there's a lot more interactivity and mm -hmm. just stuff you can do. It's yeah, Absolutely. I mean, it's a major change from Halo 2. You know, I it noticed seems that... Like... Oh, God, sorry about that. I was going to say, I noticed that with the uh, Valhalla footage, where there was that, you know, the, the, so, the so-called montage... Where the uh, you know the guy was fighting, he basically killed two or three people and then died. But the thing is, is like he was using cover, he was throwing grenades, he was firing with the assault rifle uh, that was more powerful than the uh, SMG, but he was still firing it in bursts. You know, just like an SMG is more you know more accurate with bursts, he was firing the assault rifle in that sense, but he couldn't zoom in. So you know, it, it's kind of like the way Halo battles should be in multiplayer. Uh, with that, at least with the default weapon, so that you know it's still useful, but it's it's you know more so than an SMG, less so than a BR, and uh, kind of the way it should be, because you know you have grenades, you have melee, and you have shooting, so that combo is really cool. It was neat to see him like destroy with the assault rifle. So it's very much mm -hmm. like what Halo should be, you know, in the in the whole sense of of kind of the Halo feel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it it seems like now there's more balance. Like, it doesn't seem like the guy who controls the rockets and the sword is going to control the entire map. Now it looks like there's something that will counter that. And even if, let's say, somebody gets the bubble shield, you have the power drain that maybe might take, you know, take away the power 
um, from from the bubble shield or whatever else you have. I mean, even the even the sword. Who knows if the sword loses its power too? And that's one thing we didn't talk about. He did show the sword. Yeah. And uh, of course, it you know it, it looked a lot different, looked a lot pointier. And uh, he did say it was standing straight up like something, but we're not going to mention that. But <laughs> yeah, even the way they hold it, it's it's a little different now. Um, I didn't know. Well, actually, he killed his teammates with it, so you couldn't see if there was still the dash and you know yeah. stuff like that. Which and I would like. Even to if see. even if you could, it was very sm- short. It was like very close quarters in epitaph, mm-hmm. so it was hard to tell. You know, if it yes, if it like. Yes. Flash forward like it did before. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I mean, yeah. This seems like it's going to be the thinking man's Halo. So, yeah. Which will add another. Well, not add. It's going to create another group of 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 players that that are. I mean, where you have guys now that are great at sniping, you know, through practice and 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 constant, you know, teamwork and everything. It's going to be a new generation of gamers that are going to be uh, adept at like strategizing and, and, and knowing when to use these new power ups and everything like that. Not right. just guys who can, you know, use the, the new combo, you know. It really like seems that. like a, the best mix between Halo 1 and Halo 2. You know, with the assault rifle, with a lot of the changes they've done, it really seems like a, a, good, a good mix between the two. Yeah. And that's a good thing. <laughs> Definitely. All right, so let's do one more and wrap it up. Okay. Who's next? Nobody. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'll go. Do it. Do it. Ah. <laughs> Jinx, you me coke. <laughs> the do it, the do it brothers. I do that all the time now, man. At work. I know. Go ahead and start. <laughs> All right, so so, pick. which one are we on? Pick pick one, anyone. It's yours, my brother. Well, did you do Jurassic DL? No. Do okay. that one. To start, the sword is. <laughs> <laughs> to start, the sword is pointing up instead of out and up, which is messed up. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and it has a power limit, like in Halo 2 campaign. Oh, I didn't notice that. Dual wielding. It does? Dual wielding is still there. The turret, the turret, is cool now that you can carry it around with you. And the plasma rifle looks a bit different than the original. They brought the Halo 1 pistol back, and the energy drain exploded with electricity as it went off. <laughs> lastly, <laughs> lastly, that you can kill people while moving sideways with the sniper rifle. In the video with the energy drain, from what I saw, good luck on the podcast, and I have pre-ordered my own version of the Legendary Edition of Halo 3. See ya. Mm. Yeah, man, that, that turret, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the turret is turret. powerful. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I didn't even notice the uh, there was an energy limit on the sword. Yeah, I didn't notice that either. But uh... you know, I'm actually happy to see that because you know, there's no more of like the team like holding onto the sword forever, and mm-hmm. you just keep getting exactly. by those goddamn nubs. Nah, <laughs> it should have been a patch in Halo Two. Yes, this should have been definitely. But but uh, if I that's agree. gonna happen in three, that's gonna be cool. Absolutely. I, mean, I, I hated that. Like, yeah, that got annoying. Real quick. It's about time because I mean, I mean, it was such a disadvantage. If, if like, I mean, like midship, midship, you control the the sword, you win. No, no way around it. I mean, <laughs> sorry, Fumo, but uh, <laughs> you can't hold onto the sword the whole game anymore. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Damn it. Darn it! I don't want to play anymore. No, but dual wielding <laughs> is is there, but but you don't start with a dual wieldable weapon normally, so it makes you kind of think like, should I pick up a dual wieldable and then try to find another one, or should I just stick with the assault rifle? It makes the the choice kind of more complex, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, wait, uh, do you start out with a dual wieldable? Well, no, you start with the assault rifle on pretty much everything. The assault right? rifle. Yeah, because, I mean, I thought That's it was like one of the big things in the Vidoc was saying that, like, how. Uh, if you change what the person starts out with, it completely changed the way uh, the game's played because, right. like, you can't throw a grenade and it gets rid of the whole grenade tossing and beatdowns if you start them off with a dual wieldable. Mm hmm. Exactly. And it was funny how uh, Major Nelson was, was in one of those games. I know, huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's probably like, dude, who was in my party? I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with Major. He he can ban you from. Me don't Xbox mess with Major. Major. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so there was a couple other things that we uh, didn't get to mention. Uh, first of all, when you zoom in on a on a uh, person, even if you're not, if your cursor isn't exactly on them, it still shows their gamer tag as opposed to their three letter designation. So I thought that was kind of interesting because you don't have to be totally accurate right on them. As long as you're in the area of them, it shows their gamer tag. So. Oh, okay. Cool. Ooh. Switches yeah, that's over. good. To know. Yeah. That's um, awesome, he, man. He also goes under uh, Camp Froman on uh, Last Resort, and he kind of walks through there. It's a real small room, but mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of a neat area to hide in, you know, if you're getting grenaded or something. Yeah, yeah. That was... Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like they gave you know the player some cover, but then again, they can't hide there you know all day. Yeah. So it forces you to move oh, regardless. I gotta say something. Mm -hmm. Um, you know uh, how on the Vidoc it showed the one new map. I forget the name of it, but it's the it's it's like the hill, and there's the AI gunners that are Valhalla. The top. Yeah. You know, this has nothing to do with the show, but uh, last <laughs> night, last night I had a dream about that, and it was me running up the hill and getting tagged by those uh, AI gunners. <laughs> Dang! Uh, uh, Take a break from Halo, man. Take a break. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I just remembered that. Like, I was like, dude, that happened to me last night. <laughs> I need to reach the top. Get there. Oh man! It was oh, I, I remember turrets. like I remember in my dream I was like running up the hill and then like I just got shot out of nowhere and I'm like what is this and then I looked up and there's just two guys sitting up there shooting at me and I'm like, <laughs> eating chocolate pudding <laughs> <laughs> off of the building. <laughs> the like, mm, this is delicious. Like, yeah. And then I was like, oh, I gotta hurry up and get to my body before my chocolate pudding disappears. Oh. <laughs> Oh, chocolate pudding. I wish I could dream about Halo. That would be cool. Yeah, I don't, I'm sure I've had a dream with Halo, but man, yeah. it's probably when it first... That was my first one, and it's kind of weird considering I don't even have an Xbox 360. Uh, <laughs> dreaming about an Xbox 360 There game. you go. That dream is just a metaphor for your fight to get a 360. You're yeah. trying to get up that hill. Well, Hill see, represents the, next generation gaming. Here, here's the problem. <laughs> if, be I get, if I get a 360, if I get a 360, there's uh, there's gonna be no pencils. So. Um. <laughs> oh. hey, so a couple well. of things that he that were mentioned in the uh, videos. Uh, first of all, there the BR, the new animation. Instead of just like pulling out the clip and throwing another one in, you now have like the BR has a bolt action. Uh, mm -hmm. on the rifle so that you know you pull a bullet out, pull it back, and then push it back in. You you now have to hit the bolt as soon as you uh, replace the clip to uh, to enable it, kind of like the assault rifle was in Halo 1, which I thought was really cool, you know. It, I mean, it's a subtle little thing, but and, and it's pretty quick, you know, it doesn't add much to the animation, but it's cool enough to uh, to kind of treat it like a real-world weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, yes. And did you notice the death animations? They were a little... It seemed a little better, I guess. I yeah, know. better physics on the whole thing, and mm -hmm. instead of just like oh, getting all twisted up all over, <laughs> or or the pre-recorded animations where they <laughs> flying through the air, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with the legs and the arms swinging around. Exactly. Yeah. Those yeah. were good ones. So. All yeah, right, yeah. I mean, so. they, they make uh, for good, good, good fun. <laughs> for sure. Yes, and uh. Pretty quick before we do the wrap up, I want to wish 
but bam, uh, happy birthday. It's his birthday today, and he turns 14. And I told happy him birthday. I would uh, give him a shout out. Jeez. So, to a fellow Torian, happy birthday, my brother. 14. He's too young to play Halo 2. <laughs> I know. That means he's been playing it since he was 12. <laughs> <laughs> ba bam! Ba bam! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Happy birthday, man. Hey, uh, let's get to the Xbox Live Arcade reviews. Uh, we got this week Catan and Centipede mm -hmm. and Millipede. Actually, I'm doing this with Riz Pablo. So here Riz we go. Riz Pablo. All right. Hey, guys. What's up? This is Riz Pablo. Um, I'm bringing you, again, two new arcade games that came out this week. This week, Catan and Centipede and Millipede came out. Uh, Centipede and Millipede, uh, 400 points, 5 bucks, developed by Stainless Games and published by Atari. Um, you know, we all, we've all we all played Centipede and Millipede. It's a pretty good game. Uh, it's... They 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 came out with uh, two versions of each game: the, a retro version and an evolved version. Um, but that doesn't really matter because Silver and Millipede it's basically the same game. Uh, but uh, they al they also have like a second mini version of the game. It's also it's uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically they cranked up the game speed to ten, and they everything's going really fast uh, and that's it's a pretty cool version right there it adds a new spin on it um but uh five bucks uh if you know if you've been a centipede pan centipede and millipede pan fan uh i'd recommend you know picking it up um i didn't you know i'm saving my money for halo 3 but whatever you know it's a it's a cool game i didn't check out any online but yeah, uh, the the second game that came out, Catan, you know, the real real arcade game that came out this week, uh, it's 10 bucks, 800 points, published by Big Huge Games, and uh, um, I actually have a uh, Fumo Jive with me here. Uh, he's a guest on his own podcast, <laughs> and uh, so you you bought this game, right? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. And I understand that that there was a demo that kind of came out briefly, right? Can you, can you explain that? Yeah, yeah, I picked up that, um, and I've never played Catan before, and I picked it up and I played the tutorial and I played two more games after that, and uh, from from a new person coming to it, it's um, really good at first. It's uh, actually kind of confusing, but after you know five, t ten five minutes. I was really into it, and uh, I was had the total. Uh, I mean, I totally got the game. Uh, so I, I really like it. It's probably one of the best board games and, or games on the Xbox Live Arcade out right now. Uh, what do you think about it? Yeah, I really like it too. I mean, for those of you that have played uh, Settlers of Catan before the board game, I mean, it improves on it even. Even the board game, it improves on that in pretty much every way. You do have to still go through the learning as you go tutorial to understand how the arcade version works with the different buttons and everything, so you understand how the trading works and everything. But it's definitely a uh, a great game. It's it's improved over the uh, previous one, and it just makes everything real smooth and everything. Now, for those of you who ha that have never played Settlers of Catan before, let me just give you a quick breakdown. First of all, you're all settlers, you're kind of leading a clan of people that are uh, settling on an island. And the idea is you have about f you have four players, and each of you is trying to be the dominant clan on the island. And the way you do that is by trading resources that are generated each turn uh, that each player, like it's their turn, they roll the dice, that, that it generates resources, and depending on where your settlements are and stuff like that, you get resources based on that and then you trade them off to build more settlements and things until you build enough to where you control the island. Now what's cool about this game is it's not like a risk oriented game uh, where you're trying to kind of dominate by military superiority, where you're trying to just destroy everyone else and you know and just be the biggest army by that. Uh, you're actually, you have kind of a cooperative um, uh, competition going on where you have to work with your your opponents 
to trade uh, different resources that come up so that you can get the right resources you need to build different uh, different things on the island. So it, it kind of makes it cool because it, it really encourages a lot of conversation going on, a lot of joking around with the different uh, innuendos going on with the different, uh, you know, the different resources you have available and stuff. There's plenty of those. But, uh, yeah. you know, but it, it becomes a lot of fun, you know, and, and and um, it has like a lot of different options with the different triggers. You can generate emotes, which do stuff like, you know, throw fireballs at, at opponents that you don't like, which are harmless, but it's just kind of a visual thing. It's kind of funny. You can tell people, you know, sweeten the deal uh, to, to trade different uh, resources. You can say not trading with you right now, things like that. You know, and it makes it, it kind of adds a whole new uh, level of, uh, of, of interaction to the game. And also with the uh, trading system that they have, it makes it a lot clearer what people want to trade, what you're willing to trade, and then who you want to trade with. You know, it kind of it kind of it gels all that together really well. Yeah, yeah, I really like the aspect. Like, you can't win without your you, you know you helping your enemies or they're helping you. Uh, I really like that. You know, and this whole virtual uh, board game, it's really nice. Because you don't have to deal with pointage and stuff. All you have to do is hit the right or left trigger to see, you know, what's going on, who's winning and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, how's that online play? You know, because like I know with board games, you know, you have to either you know go out on the town or and find a specific place that's dedicated to board game nights or something, right. or play with your family that might no not know how to play. And what what's it like? You know, just popping in on Xbox Live and you know just. Dude, it is freaking amazing. I gotta say, you guys, this is the one game on Xbox Live Arcade that I've been looking forward to for like six months, ever since it's been announced. And when it came out, I bought it right away. Every, you know, this is the first game that I've really wanted to do that right away. And this game is amazing. It is, it is definitely a must-have for anybody that enjoys board games or even enjoys strategy games or just kind of enjoys social games that you can just hang out with and get to know people and joke around and have a good time. You know, because it's, it's just a really fun time and it's not like uber competitive like Risk or anything. And it's just, it's it's a great game and it's something that I, I really enjoyed online too. Because the thing is online is that, uh, you know, you, you, it's pretty much just like the local version, except the local version you play with these pre-made characters like Sun Tzu, uh, Queen Elizabeth, different people like that that yeah. basically have different play <laughs> styles, you know, based on their, their country's uh, history and war and things like that, yeah. which is kind of interesting. But, you know, once you get online, it becomes, you know, obviously a play style based on the different characters and stuff. And you can talk, you can trade emotes, you can trade different... Uh, you know, the trading screen, you can trade different, uh, you know, resources and stuff. So it's a blast, man. It's a great way to get to know people. It's a really fun game, and I definitely recommend it for anybody out there, really. Yeah. All right. I, uh, thanks for coming on with the uh, To Your Own Podcast, Fumo. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll see you guys next week. I'm Riz Pablo signing off. See ya. Yeah. Right on. Um, thanks, Wrist, and well, me, I guess. <laughs> No, that in that review was magnificent. Thanks, you Bill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was imitating Simon Powell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. In that case, you'd be like, "That sucked. That was horrible. I hate you. Uh, Go to hell." That was <laughs> utterly embarrassing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, let's wrap it up here. Uh, send in your comics, etc. to podtacular at gmail.com. We depend on your submissions to keep the show going. Keep an eye on podtacular.com for an invitation to send in stuff for next week's show. And you can call our listener voicemail at 206-888-HALO and leave a Halo-related message. We play these back regularly on the Customs and Calling Show. Not hollow, halo. Not hollow. <laughs> also, be sure to check out podtacular.com. And while you're there, you can check out the forum. There's a lot of buzz right now about Halo 3, Halo 2 for Windows Vista, the new Halo 2 maps, and tons of other stuff. Go check it out today. Yeah. Thanks to all the people that contribute to Podtacular, whether it's working on the community or site. Contributing to our PayPal to help out with the hosting bill or subscribing to the show and reviewing us in iTunes. We couldn't do it out without you. Special thanks to James Panwell for contributing $25.
and yeah. also our history. Oh, yeah. I'll wait Thanks until very much, I contribute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait. It's I'll wait time. Now. I'm going to double it. James, check go out check the out oh. XBL Radio. James, go check out XBL Radio. <laughs> check <laughs> out our affiliates on the GamerCast Network. Yeah, uh, there you will find GamerTag Radio, Uncle Gamer Radio, and Video Game Show. So remember, GamerCastNetwork.com for a, a variety of different shows. True. And Until we have... next time, I'm Fumo Drive. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and Rusty, uh, you, got, you yeah, guys are yeah. at XBLRadio.com, right? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the plug. And so, yeah, come check us out, man. Absolutely. Uh, you guys let people be on your show. Hey, we do it too. So mm -hmm. uh, if you guys want to be on our podcast, hit us up. We will get you on it. And I did post this on the Potacular front page, but why don't you reacquaint us with the Gaming for GIs uh, event, uh, charity event you, you guys are doing right now? Yes, indeed. We're very excited about this one, uh, Games for GIs. It's a charity event we got going right now. We're taking your donations of all your used or new uh, unwanted games. Uh, any games you got laying around, donate it. Send it over to the <laughs> troops over in Iraq. Even, uh, even if it's a game that you want, you know, it's for a good cause. So. Oh, man. Yes, indeed. You know. So... Right, instead of going to the used game store, get a couple bucks for them, you know, send it to the troops. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if we want to check that out, where can we find that again? XBLradio.com. All righty. And we got to we gotta see Steve519 for that? Yes, or indeed, Steve519. He's a, he's a former Marine, and he was mm -hmm. yeah. one of the guys that came up with the idea, him and Carpal Tunnel. Yeah, yeah. Go check him out, man. Check out his video minutes. Uh, he does a, a minute uh, video every week. News rundown. It's a lot of fun. He gets silly on it sometimes. Raw, yep. man. I really respect Marines. I'll tell you what, man. They they do. Uh, they are the hardest of the hardcore. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Swagger, man. Hey, thanks for being on the show. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming on, I guys. I appreciate it being on the show. Totally yeah, my yeah. pleasure. Yeah, I man. I thought I would. Here. Well, hey, well, keep on when, fragging when trucks, can, guys. And until next time, I'm Fumo Jai. I am JVB. I'm Swagger. And I'm Rusty Ranchero. Till next time, keep on running up that hill. And I will. Four, three, six, six. <laughs> oh, and the, uh, the, the, the pudding all over the place. Oh, yeah, yeah, pudding. <laughs> that, that's, a a fetish, that's a fetish. That's a fetish. There's only one thing left to say. Introduction again? Yeah. Yes, please. In three, two. Oh, and by one. the way, uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Remember, baby, bug you, bummers. You hear Potacular episode. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm Fumo Jive. I'm JBB. I'm Swagger. And I am Rusty Ranchero. Whoopee! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Whoopee! Oh, we're gonna have to start it over again. <laughs> Take one twelve. <laughs> you are beautiful, no matter what they say. Those nerds won't. Oh bring God, JP, you sing. Please help. <laughs> you are Needler. I think it's Needler time today. The 
This is a song about our favorite gun. The Needler. Sing it, Christina. Needler gun, you're so wonderful, you and me, so deadly. Needler gun, when I'm holding you, they laugh at me because you're pink. You are beautiful no matter what they say. Those nerds won't bring us down. You are beautiful in every single way. Those nerds won't bring us down. Oh no. I think it's needler time today. Sing it, sister. Yeah. Running around on the battlefield. Got sex appeal. I do a wield. So keep your sword, keep your SMG, and feel the pain of needle brain. Take it, soul sister! You are beautiful, no matter what they say. Words can bring you down. Oh, no. You are beautiful in every single way. Yes, words can bring you down. Oh, no. Don't, Don't you bring, bring me down today. No matter what we do. 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 Game of Leaders. they say words won't bring us down oh needler you are beautiful in every single way won't take us down. Not today. You won't bring us down. Game over. Network. <laughs> 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 <laughs>